One of the things that I'm always trying to do in Excel, and you're probably trying to do too, is to rank things and create league tables. Now, we've created a series of three videos to help you understand how to do this. Let's get straight into it. Now, this is the Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions website. We have an article on the website, and the article includes a download file. So you can go through this article. It will be a good reference for you. But make sure you download this file, which I'm going to use in the video, and make sure you work along with me. Okay, so you might be trying to rank sports teams, you might be trying to rank students, but whatever you're trying to do, this technique is going to apply. The first step and the step we're going to cover in this video, and there's three videos, is to create a rank formula. So Excel actually supplies a formula to help us rank things, which is great. So how does that work? Well, <clears throat> here we have a list of nine teams and the points totals that each team has. So we just want to rank these teams according to their points total. So as usual, we're going to hit the equals key, which is going to start formula editing, and then type ranking and open brackets. And as usual, Excel is giving us prompts, so Excel is telling us uh, what information it needs. So Excel is actually trying to help us. So number refers to the cell that contains the number that we want to rank. So we're just going to click on cell C13 there, and we can see that's coming up in the formula. Then we hit the comma key, always hit the comma key to move on to the next element of the formula. And now we're on to ref. Ref refers to the range of values uh, that we are referring to, the range of values that we want to situate our value in. So we're going to select this range of values, so C21 up to C13, and we can see that's appeared in our formula, so that's great. We're going to hit the comma key again to move on to the final elements of the formula. And that's the order, so we can choose whether we rank in descending or ascending order. Usually you'll be ranking in descending order because you'll want the highest value at the top down to the lowest value at the bottom. So to do that, we just pop a zero in here, and then we can close the bracket, and that formula is ready to go. So I'm just going to hit return, and the formula's in there. So when we create a new formula, we always do a quick sense check, um, a quick test just in your head to see how it looks. So this student, um, this team, sorry, has seven points and they're ranked number eight. So that seems to make sense. That's a low points total, so their rank would be quite, quite high. So let's drag that formula down. Okay, good. We can see this quite, hasn't quite worked. So that's because we've missed out um, an essential part of the formula, which is a good learning point. So let's go back to D13. We can see um, in the formula, we've uh, referenced the range of values we want to look at. However, we've forgotten to make that reference an absolute reference. So at the moment, as we copy the formulae down, that reference is also moving down, which means we're no longer referring to the original range of values. So how do we fix that? Well, to put in an absolute reference, which is going to fix that reference in the same place wherever the formula goes, we're going to just hit the F4 key and we can see that the dollar signs appear, then just reposition the cursor uh, between the C and the 21 there, hit the F4 key again, and we now have absolute references. And this means wherever we move this formula, we copy and paste the formula, it will always refer to that range of cells. So this time I'm going to double click in the bottom right hand corner to get Excel to autofill the formula down the column. And there we go, that looks pretty good. So as always, we do a sense check. This is interesting, we've got two, value, two equal values, we've got two teams with 30 points, which is why we have two number, number ones and no number two. And then number three is the student with 29 points. So this seems to be working pretty well. Okay, so that's the rank formula. This is the first of three videos, uh, which is gonna take you through how to create a league table in Excel. So make sure you um, download this file from the Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions website. It's so important to practice with Excel. It's just developing a skill, which means you have to do the practice. Make sure you tune in for the next video.